So the next thing we need to do is to set up a long-term liability, a loan uh, that was opened sometime in 2017. Specifically, this loan that we have in our books or should, should have in our books was opened on January 1st, 2017. And we paid um, monthly payments since then at the end of every month. Um, and we want to calculate what is the unpaid balance of the loan as of 1 1 2018 when we start recording all of our transactions, right? Um, and this is not an annual payment, this is going to be a monthly payments, right? Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with, with that. And that, by that mean, you are uh, generating monthly payments that accrue interest on a monthly basis as well. All right, so for this, we need an actual spreadsheet. Uh, let me start by typing in the original balance of that loan. In this case, it's going to be uh, 50000 plus whatever your student ID is. So let me, in my case, the last four digits of my student ID, according to this, um, would be 9999. So let me just put it 9999, and that would bring my loan to 5999. All right. We know that the loan date was on 1 1 2017. My interest rate, uh, according to this, was 5% per year compounded at the end of each month. So my interest rate is. 5%. Oh, 5%. Um, how many months do I have? So if it's a it's a 60 month loan. So let me put 60 months. And then I'm gonna figure out what the payment is. So how do I do that? Um I can always use a formula that Excel or Google Sheets has. It's called the payment formula in which we have to determine what is the rate. Since this is a monthly loan, uh, then we would have to say this is, we have 12, 12, 12 uh, payments per year. And so if my interest rate is 5% and I have 12 payments per year, uh, my rate is a little bit less than half of a percentage point per month. And what is the number of periods? Well, it's 60. Right? What is the present value? Well, it would be the original balance. So I get almost 60,000. And then the future value, now this works if, um, this matters if you have a balloon loan where you have a value that is not zero, right? But in this case, it doesn't matter. And we also, or so we could just put zero. Um, and then the end of the beginning, meaning when do we pay um, these, when do we pay this payments? When do we make the payments? And so at the end of each period, we are going to make the payments. So we have to say zero at the end. So just a regular type of loan. Uh, and so according to this, my payment every month is going to be $1,132.26. Now, we know that out of this, some interest expense is going to be paid and then some principal will be reduced. So let me start a little amortization table. I'm going to call this payment number. Uh, this would be the date. This would be the payment amount. I want to say that this is my interest expense. Uh, I will say that this is the principal that is being paid. And this would be the balance after um, my payment. So I'm going to start with um, zero, the payment zero, meaning the first day of the life of the loan will, will not actually be a payment, but it's just, this is when it started, and it starts on 1-1-2017. I don't get anything back. There's nothing at all. So my first payment will occur on one thirty one. 2017, right? And then the payment amount is going to be the following. In fact, I'm going to F4 in 1,132. So let's think about that. How much of that? In fact, let me go ahead and put a negative just to 
know what the payment amount. How much of this is an interest expense? Well, that's very easy, right? We are going to multiply 59,000, whatever the balance of your loan is, times your interest rate. And the interest rate would be 5% divided by 12. So 5% divided by 12. My interest expense for the first month would be 12. 250 that means that means that after i pay my interest expense i will be reducing my debt by 882 dollars and 26 cents so my balance after that payment would be the original balance minus my principal amount so after the end of the month i could say after at the end of the month i could say this is my balance after that payment 